Hello everyone, and welcome back to Thief. Okay, so I am going to do the main quest in this episode, but I want to knock out some of these side quests first. Not all of them, I have, what, 11? Or 12, I think? I think, or maybe it's 11, I don't remember. 11 or 12, some, somewhere around there. And, yeah, I'm going to knock some of them out. So I've left the place where I was at before. Actually, while I wasn't recording, I went back into the person's room that I was just at, at the end of the last episode. I was trying to pick up the poetry fragments and I couldn't find them all. I went back into that room hoping I could... Hoping I just missed them. And taking a look at it, you know, days afterwards would... Maybe let me see something that I didn't see before, but no, I still couldn't find a single freaking thing. I tried hitting everything with my blackjack. I looked for stuff I could shoot with an arrow to... You know, make a ladder come down or something, but no, there's... I, I couldn't find anything. So I don't know what's up with that. So I've left that area and I'm back at Stone Market plaza or whatever it's called, the main area. So I've just come from there into the stone market. Here I am, and, well, don't know if I'm going to do all of these, but it depends how long they take. Let's just do the closest one. Steal everything in the fence shop. A fence shop? Why would you sell fences? I don't know, I mean, I guess people need fences, but, eh. Doesn't sound like a very good thing to, doesn't sound like a very exciting thing to sell. Young people these days, relying on traps to protect their stash when a friendly demeanor and good honest bribes work just as well. There's a local fence, John Tallow, who's taken to the streets. The locals call him Yellowface. He needs to be taught a lesson. Namely, that Stone Market is my territory. See that he gets the message. It's strange, they even gave a fence a name. John Tallow the Fence. Why would you name a fence? It's just a bit of, a bit of wood. Weird. <laughs> okay. I see a window up there. I wonder if that's the one. It is right in that direction. Oh god, I forgot where this was. This is this death trap of a place. Fuck. What's next? Hi. Wonder where this leads. There must be a way out of the city. Yeah, probably through the the gate, I would imagine. It's probably probably the way out. This thing actually goes down. I don't think I want to go down. I think I need to go up. Should try to sneak into Dayport. Okay, it's not that window. It's I right, right there. Forever in this city. Somewhere there. All right. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. I welcome some warm coffee. All right, so it's got to be that window right there. I think. So I need to get up. I need to get it up. How do I get it up? Of course, I can't jump on top of that. Wonderful. Um, is there something I could shoot an arrow into? A rope arrow? So hungry. Oh god! I'm in the light. I'm in the light. Okay. Whew. I wonder if the citizens notice me. Yeah, he's looking at me. He's looking at me. He noticed me, but thankfully they don't care. Alright, I need to go around the corner. Hi. Don't mind me. Don't mind me, sir. Sorry, sir. Just sneaking around. Just a thiefly looking fellow with a hurt arm. Crouched in the shadows. Brushing against you. Waiting for him to look away so we can go around the corner. Yeah, yeah. There we go. How the f. Do I seriously need to use a rope arrow here? Okay. 
I mean, I could just, like, move these boxes back or something. Ah, whatever. Okay. Okay, game. I'll do it. Don't mind me. I'm just the same thiefly looking fellow. <laughs> He's looking right at me. I'm just the same guy you saw earlier that was acting super suspicious, acting even more suspicious now. Totally not suspicious at all. No. Alright, well this isn't it. But maybe it'll take me to there? I don't I don't see any other way to go. <laughs> oh the tavern's shutting up. Where will I drink? Oh my. Am I in the house of a psychopath? Looks like someone's been experimenting on rats. Yeah. Rawr. That reminds me. I need to turn off focus. I had it on to check the room with the poet's fragments. Don't think there's anyone... Yeah, there's no one here. But, yeah, that window should take me to a better place. A place where I can get to the other place. I like places that take me to places. <laughs> so tired these days. This bottle contains... Arr. Surgical scissors. No, don't Sloop do that, Garrett. Choice. No, don't. Garrett. E. See? There you go. I feel like maybe it does that more if you mash E, which is what I tend to do. Break in. <laughs> totally wasn't me. Nope. This week, the... The Baron toured the sites of the recently demolished chapel in Dayport. Hmm. Okay. I wish I cared about the city. The, the game world. In this game enough to read that stuff. Honestly though, I don't. Yeah, someone was... Someone was talking about how... Tear soaked diary. Ugh. That sounds sad. I'm trying not to be miserable, really. Someone was talking about how the game world in the the new thief is just not as interesting as the old ones, and they're totally right. The old ones had a lot of character. They had a lot of strange stuff. So so many strange factions and and creatures. Just really strange creature you god. Locked chest full of dead crows and rats. That is gross. Yeah, the Ulti's had a lot of character to the city. I mean, it was a dull and grimy city, just as this one is. It's, it's not a happy place. Hope it's not the glue. But there's a lot of really interesting stuff. This one, it's just mostly dull. The world. You know, it doesn't really invite me to take a closer look into it. You don't have the pagans and the hammerites or whatever they were called. And interesting stuff like that. Another industrious bird. I'm amazed to could pick that purse up. So, yeah, if it was a more interesting world, I would totally read that stuff, but it's... It's just, it's not. I think a rope arrow could go there, I think. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I don't... Maybe one can, but no need for that. Because there's this... Actually, I don't think that really gets me all the way there. I think I still need the rope. Yeah. Wow, this... This better have really good loot in it. Because this is a, kind of an ordeal just to get here. Alright, well, here's my last rope arrow. I just saved it, so just in case I miss, I can reload. And... It, there we go. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know what's in there. It's just open. I think a tooth's coming loose. I well, should hammer it back in. That's how that works, isn't it? Mm -mm. 
Oh, there's already a rope here. Uh. Huh. Well, whatever. <gasps> Shit. That's a problem. Is this is this where I'm supposed to go? It is. How? How? <laughs> How do I get inside? Um. I see a switch. Can you hit a switch with a blunt arrow? Oh my god, that's the first time I've ever done that. I'm kind of proud of myself. I got this far without even realizing you can do that. I can use that everywhere. Not just here. I can use it to remotely turn off lights. I need to buy more blunt arrows. Gotta get some more blunts. John Tallow's Blacklist. Ooh, secrets. Yoink, yoink, and yoink. Robbing a fence. <laughs> In my experience, it's usually the other way around. It is ironic, isn't it? Alright, let's read that stuff. I forgot to read the Tearso Diary as well. New newspaper? What? I already read that. Oh, is it marked as new? It's weird. I can't do it. I can't stop thinking about her. Her hair. Her hands. Her face. Her smile. I can't. I have to stop thinking about her, or I'll go mad. But I can't forget her, or it will be like she never existed. Please. There has to be more than this. Something has to stop. Something has to end this torment. Please. What more can I do? And that was in the place that had a lot of tortured animals, so I think this person cracked. Pretty badly. Alright, where's the... Oh, was the other thing I picked up just loot? It wasn't actually the blacklist? That's not something I can read? Yeah, I guess it isn't. Okay. Let's see how long is it. Wow, it's already been a while. How many more side quests do I want to do? I do want to actually get to the asylum this episode. It's almost time to start heading back. It took so freaking long to get there. Deactivate all the traps. Well, that sounds like fun. Okay, well, I really want to do uh, Steel Sick Willy's Golden Watch. Because someone told me how to do that. Which I'll explain when I get there. Let's go forwards and take a right, so this way. Hmm. You know what? Okay, I'm going to test something out here. I'm going to test if I can survive this. Well, now I know the answer. The reason I was testing that is because I just remember I just bought the new boots that increased my survivable falling distance. Unfortunately, I don't know what it's increased to, and obviously that was not it. Uh, can I... God, turning on this freaking rope is so stupid. Come on. Come on. There we go. Stop where you are. Can I even get off this damn thing? I guess that kind of works. Uh, no you don't. Actually, yeah, you do. <clears throat> Moving on the ropes is, um, not comfortable. Let's go down this way. That's better. No, I can't do that. If I throw it there, these two will look in that direction, but that one will just look right at me. Who did that? Go look, don't chance it. <laughs> that one doesn't even want to go look. You'd better stay hidden if you're messing with me. Okay. That works. I heard something. Oh, I 
I'm going mad. If it's nothing, get back. <laughs> Where the hell am I going? Ah, over the boxes. What are you doing out here? Waiting for a storm that'll wash all this away. Okay. Should be nearby. Where are you? There it is. So to the left. The fuck was that noise? Hear someone? All quiet here. I heard nothing. <laughs> was that me? It sounded like I kicked over a flower pot or something, but we I don't think down I did. We head down to the bank, followed out past the city walls, and then what? Catch up with the nobles, test their charity. I think they heard me. Someone heard me. Someone was shouting. So I'm just gonna go. Come on. This place brings a new meaning to House of Ill Repute. Yeah, this Willie's a bit of a sick prick. I mean, oh, that didn't sound right. I mean, he's got a sick prick. I mean, that, whatever. Anyway, yes, this is the secret. See, what I was doing before, if you turn on, if you turn on focus, you can see quite clearly it's highlighted. I think, I'm pretty sure the reason I passed over that is because I probably just assumed at the time that I couldn't, I probably assumed this was a painting, and at the time I didn't have the razor tool, so I think I just glossed over in my mind as something that I simply couldn't take because I didn't have the razor tool, but yeah, it's not something you can take, it's something that you can use. <laughs> he just put his hands right on her ass. Oh, Garrett. So I either open something secret, or more likely, there's probably just a cubby hole or a safe behind it. Gonna get that golden watch. Oh, or the in Whoa! Here lies sick Willie, survived only by his sense of humor. Didn't expect that. The eel biters. Willie's business affairs were as bad as his health. But I'll take the Riverside tip. There it is. Nice piece. It should find a good price if no one knows where it's been. Okay, let's see what this thing says. Four less twenty nine equals. What? Wait, do you can't do math or <laughs> twenty nine minus four? It's not really a hard math question. Twenty five. Last of Eelbiter's loan number three gone. Goes to want the cutter the one. Okay. I feel like I got thistle in my breeches today. What the hell is this laid? It sounds like some sort of a product, like a powder. Alright, well that's finally done. It's the only old quest I had. Now what? I should probably just start heading back. There's a lot more here I want to do, but... Yeah, I probably should just head back. I do need to buy stuff, too, when I'm pretty sure there's a salesman at the bar place where I do the quest anyway. So I'm probably good just to go back. Yeah, let's go back. Night's going on forever. Now, what way did I come from exactly? I think it was this way, right? Yeah. I'm trying to see if I can remember my way around the city without using the map. Let's see if I can get all the way back there. 
to the place with the boat in the bar without using my map. Let's see. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, I need to get over in that direction. He could show himself at any moment. He says while looking directly at me. Hey. Now it's my turn. I command you to stop. Whoops. <laughs> I moved a little bit too close. What are they even doing? Like their movements don't even make any sense. I don't know if this guy moves, actually. He might just stay there. What? You stop right there! Did you see me? What's the matter, coward? Afraid? I think he might have seen me when I just went into light for a second going back there, but it's... Oh, whoa, Jesus Christ, dude. Hi. You scared me. Okay. Uh, this isn't a way to go, right? Oh yeah, south quarter. Okay. Cool. I actually might be able to get there without using my map. I think I remember the way. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I do. I even know a shortcut. Yes. Okay. Ew. Every time I hear that, it's disgusting. Swoop, 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 swoop. Sloop of starvation. What I do know a shortcut. It's right here on the right. Huh? <coughs> Ow. Lost into the shadows, no doubt. That was unpleasant. It's okay. I can just eat a Hershey's bar or something. There we go. Back up to full. I like the tip there on the loading screen. Drops from great heights can be lethal. No kidding. What a surprise. Okay, where to go from here? I think it's just down. Where the hell does this go? Oh, client job. No. Where the hell am I? Seriously, where the hell am I? Where does this go? I'm feeling like maybe I should look at my map. This is apparently Eel's End. Oh god, not that same conversation about Polly Adler. Jesus, no. I don't know if I'm going the right way. Okay, this is starting to look familiar. Take this my yeah, this is the right way. Okay, here it is. Got it. Didn't even have to use a map. Let's go buy some stuff and let's go to the creepy place. Okay, where's the there you are, the groupie. I have something for all your nefarious needs. Something except new lines to say. Okay, first, do you have anything new I want to buy? Hmm, doesn't really look like it. What is this? No, that was there before. Yep, yep, none of that's new. Okay. Blunt, blunt, blunt. There we go. Let's fill up on that. It doesn't seem like you actually find blunts in the world, so I'm just gonna buy all of them. 
Just fill it up. Water arrow, I've got six, I'm good. I definitely need rope arrows. Take three. And then, I'm good on everything else, yeah. Yep. Come back soon. I just realized you're missing one of your, one of your feet. Huh, I didn't realize that before. Maybe I ought to get some nice I'll be a penniless Spruce up the place. The worst kind. <laughs> I wonder if Basso has any new quests. Please no. Sorry, Gary. Okay. No jobs at the moment. Good. I actually don't want more jobs. I've got too many. Okay. It's time to go to the creepy place. Let's do it. The Forsaken. By the way, this is chapter 5. And there are, I believe, 8 chapters. So this marks the... Just going past the halfway point. Ah, ready to go? <sighs> now I remember why I don't like boats. Well, I hate swimming a whole lot more, so get in. Now I'll take the oars. You row about as well as I can dance. Sure. The exercise will do you some good. <laughs> Thanks to the general. That was a narrow escape from the keep. My hand is evidence of that. Still, finding the primal stone piece in the great safe was a surprise. Not the... Uh. So, what does Aaron have to do with Moira? Do you believe in ghosts? Huh? Spirits. Uh, you know, the dead coming back to haunt the living. Punish them. You think Aaron's haunting you? I don't know, perhaps. I remember a, a ritual. Some kind of an explosion. Aaron died. I'll never forget it. And everything else is... gone. Oh, come on, Garrett. I know you wouldn't have put that gal in harm's way. She'd have put herself there easy enough. There's an answer in here somewhere. I could feel it. This place has gone oddly quiet since there was a riot here. Some patients escaped. A few boats have come in. Nothing has come out. Garrett! I don't know what you expect to find in there, but be careful. Don't become a ghost yourself. I've been a ghost all my life. Oh my god, that's so cheesy. That is so it's cheesy. It's been a long time since this island had a good reputation. Will I really find you here? I've been a ghost all my life. I mean, to be fair, it's pretty much true. It just, it sounds really, really cheesy. I love the atmosphere here, though. Just that fog. The water, the look of it, and the sound of it. The distant bell ringing incessantly. Is that a thunderstorm? Or is that just weird glitchy stuff? I think it's just weird glitchy stuff, yeah. I thought the sky lit up for a second, but it's just weird it changes when I move my view. Hm. Anyway. Warning. 
something escapees. Beware escapees or something. Yeah, it's not a good place I'm going into. Listen to the gate. Why are there so many suitcases? Outside. I punched the bottles good for freaking me out for a second. Seriously, there's so many suitcases. Literally a cart full of suitcases. Suitcases, suitcases. What the? It's a soldier's helmet. Question is, why is it not on the soldier's head? <laughs> why is it off? That's not good. Moira Asylum. Reach the asylum grounds. The fact that that's an objective makes me think it might be hard. But I don't need to hide yet. Nothing's come out at me. So... Everything's tilting. I think it's my view that's tilting. Yeah, my view is slightly like spinning side to side. Very subtle, but disorienting a little bit. I don't know if you can tell, it's really subtle. Right right now it's shifted to the left. I'm assuming it hasn't been doing that the whole time, and it's just happening here. Edwina Moira. Hers was the dream the Baron brought to life. A <laughs> wheelchair, oh god. Is there anything creepier than just old wheelchairs left abandoned in asylums? Yoink. Good find. I'm assuming I'm, I'm assuming I'm not going in through the front door. Are they trying to keep something out or in? My bet would be in. Did it just open? Great, it's welcoming inside of its... It's welcoming me. Inside. Yeah, wonderful. I'm, a, I'm an honored guest. Hmm. Okay. Seems someone's expecting me. Or something. And something tells me I'm not going to be able to come back out after I go inside. Oh, what do you know? Okay. So the only thing I can do in this locked-in room is look through a hole. Okay. I'm looking at pictures of someone looking through. Oh, it blinked. Hi. You shouldn't be here. No, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be here. Is it the 
asylum that's haunted me. Female ward is probably a good start. Find information about Aaron. In fact, even the design of this place is a, seems like a huge callback to the Shalebridge Cradle. I believe that's what it was called from Deadly Shadows. We have to find a ward. Even kind of the split design of this, like the lobby, and you can go to each side. I think resembles Shalebridge Cradle. in the books? Any secret switches? Yeah, my view is definitely tilted. It's very disturbing. Stop doing that. You know what the weird thing is, is? I don't ever remember accidentally leaning over a corner when I was trying to loot these tables until very recently. So, what changed? Wouldn't it be funny if you picked one of these locks? For one of these uh, dressers? And something jumped out at you? Like you picked the lock to your own jump scare? Head to the female ward. I guess whatever the hell I found there was useful. What did I find? Wait a minute. There Holy shit. There's. F Hold on. Before I read this, there's 42 documents in chapter 5. And I'm assuming chapter 5 is just this one place. Yeah, look at the. Holy shit. Look at the previous chapters. 2, 9, 4, 8, 42. Something tells me this is going to be a very long chapter. Okay, well this is probably Aaron. Received patient number 18. Young female, admitted by the state and delivered under guard. Condition moderate to poor. Numerous abrasions and broken bones. Arrived drugged and unconscious. Instructed to keep her that way due to extreme violent tendencies when not sedated. Moved to woman women's... Ward, central seclusion for observation and treatment. Nurse Obermill. Okay, well, there's two ways to go. What's this? Well, that's the women's ward. Is that like a revolving door of doors? That is really strange, but hold on, what's, what's the other way? I don't know why I did that. That's the men's ward. Can I even go there? Oh. I can. Well, I'm guessing I'm gonna have to come here at some point anyway, so I might as well just go where I'm supposed to go for now. As much as my brain, my exploratory... Um, oriented brain tells me to go exactly the opposite of where they want me to go, but realistically, they're not gonna leave an entire section of this place undis...
Interesting. Uh, they're not going to leave an entire section of this place with no sort of a quest objective in there, because I'm sure they want you to actually go about the whole thing. Right, well, I need to savor... I need to savor the moment, because right now is the time when stuff isn't trying to kill me, but trust me, there's going to be stuff that's going to try to kill me. Guaranteed. I really shouldn't have broken that because I might actually need it. These Ooh. are the Baron's locks. What's so important to him in an asylum? One of them fancy locks. Looks like I need to have myself committed. <laughs> Voluntarily, of course. Oh, look. See? Acquired the key from the mail ward. What do you know? Didn't take long. Wait, if that goes back to the lobby, then... Is that food? I could put a rope arrow there. I think that's food at the bottom of the shaft. I don't know if I want to expend a rope arrow just to get food, but... There might be more. But yeah, that's the lobby. What's this? Oh, you can go directly to the men's ward from the women's ward. Okay. <laughs> Attention! Excitable patients! And then you look at the ground. Someone got excited. A weak point? No. Gotta be on the lookout for stuff I can hit with a blunt arrow, too. Switches and stuff. Alright, let's go down the shaft. I doubt there's gonna be many opportunities to use my rope arrows here. I'm gonna be able to... Wait, shit, can I jump back up to this thing? Eh, we're about to find out. I don't... think I... can. <laughs> it is just food. Um... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it looks like you can't jump up there, so you do need to use the rope. If you want to get to the top. I'm assuming this just leads to the stairs, probably. History 1. Hmm. Now, what do we have here? Flowers Eternal. I'll read that in a minute. Now I just want to get the hell out of here. So is this a one-way thing? Yeah, it's one way. You can't... They don't even allow you to go back. You can only go up this stuff. Which is kind of weird, but okay. Did I just come from here? Or... Where's this go? I did just come from here. This place is complicated. This place is really complicated. Let's just go back to normal. Let's just go to the lobby. That's directly to the men's ward. Let's go through the lobby. Just enter from the front. To avoid confusion and try to build up my mental map of this place. Okay. I need the key. So what about that history? Oh yeah, ward key notice. The women's ward key has been relocated to my desk in the men's ward. The dancer had been sneaking out to steal it and torment the linguist. If you need it, which you shouldn't, come and see me when I'm on duty. Dr. Stedman. The dancer? Tormenting the linguist? What the hell? It is through this lens of the author's experience that we shall explore this most mysterious of locales. The Moira Asylum. 
who some have called the trickster's playground, and yet which the educated know as a place of healing. It is the impression of the boy baron that this house of wellness could be a source of great, great creativity and income for the people which she serves. So that goes to the women's ward. There's a lot of notes in this place. I suppose it makes sense with patient records and all that. Hmm, I wonder what that does. gold worth of scissors. Absence. Huxley, I notice you've been absent for uh, quite frequently of late. I know the shifts in reformation are difficult for you to bear, but we all must do our part to ensure the well-being of our most grievously ill patients. I've also noticed that lately you appear to be limping. Get Dr. Stedman to look you over. We need all our nurses in, tip in uh, top shape while our patron is on the prowl. Shower vent report. Patient number 63 has been sneaking out of her seclusion and creating disturbances in the men's ward. The vent from the showers appears to be her point of egress and has been sealed with threaded screws. Observation will determine whether this measure was successful or not. Threaded screws. Ooh, it just so happens I can deal with that. Alright, what does this do? Hmm, okay. What the fuck was that? Was that a weird noise of something opening, or was that like somebody breathing? Eh, whatever. Just keep turning. Might have just been stone on stone, but... It sounded like something more. What's down here? God, more rope arrows. Thought I wasn't going to need them. Maybe I will. Excitable patience. I saw something break. Something like glass just broke somewhere. Maybe the door just hit one of the bottles. Yeah, that's probably it. Anything up here? Mm hmm. Can't jump over that, so it looks like my journey here is done. Time to go through the place I unlocked. Which was... 
was here. <laughs> Time to go to the excitable patients. First, history number two. The history of Moira Asylum is a fascinating one, not accepting the recent debate over whether it is more prison or hospital. The venerable widow Moira saw it as a place in which to treat the wounded of soul and heart, where one may recover from the world's ills to the soothing sounds of surf or silence. However, Baron Ulysses, in his infinite wisdom, originally saw it in a place where he could rid of the city's degenerates, all for the price of a generosity unmatched in our current age. <laughs> in his infinite wisdom, sure. Great. A tray full of needles and blood. What the hell does that say? Treatment center? Yeah, treatment center. This place is big. This place is really, really, really big. That was not the sound of grinding stone. That was the sound of a monster. Let's peek through the lock. So, um, do I want to pick the lock? Sure, why not? What's the worst that could happen? Hey, buddy. Oh. He's gone. <laughs> I'm gonna piss off his spirit so much by jacking his shit. the cell door is going to close behind me on one of these. He left something. Don't sleep. That central seclusion? Headaches are getting worse. Some days I can barely see straight. I should be documenting my symptoms, but they come and go so rapidly at times that I'm not sure I felt them at all. 
All I can discern is that they seem to grow stronger the closer I am to Dr. Huntfield's patients. But they shouldn't even be possible. It could just be the mental strain of blocking out all the screaming. I swear he torments them on purpose when he knows it's my shift. I guess I should add paranoia to the list of symptoms. First time someone's actually talked. There's something in there. What is that? Looks like one of the. It looks like that tower puzzle thing that I did in the the architect's place, the one I put together. It looks like that thing. Hmm. Don't see a way in there right now. Maybe later. Patient number twenty nine is showing remarkable progress following the removal of patient eighteen from the women's ward. He has become both tra uh, tractable and agreeable. One could assume he is almost his normal self, though I admit I am keen to see him in the treatment center for further study and analysis. His condition is not currently severe enough to warrant a transfer to reformation. However, if he were to resume his previous percussive demonstration of anxiety, or demonstrations of anxiety, we must never forget that the bonds of mental illness are both invisible and insipid. He may require a treatment yet. Dr. Hunfield. Hmm. Oh, there we go. There's my inn. Did I see a rat flee across the screen and then literally phase or disappear at the door? Huh. I feel like that was a poorly scripted jump scare that maybe was supposed to have a sound associated with it, but didn't. This should get me into the female ward. Oh, it's a key! Right, the keys look like, the, like that too. They look kinda like the tower. Okay, now I'm worried that by picking up the key and progressing the quest, I've now triggered the script that causes all of the patients to come out of hiding. I hope not. I found a special cache today, left by someone like me. Little pieces of copper coin, as old as the city. And a strange painting. Ooh, a painting. I want it. We think the same way, so there must be more. There's a noise in the walls sometimes. A clicking that sounds like my heartbeat. I have to have it. I will have it. Soon. Okay. Don't care about the coin, but I do care about the painting. A cash. There's a noise in the walls. I wonder if that's a hint. That it's around somewhere where you hear a noise in the walls? Am I hearing it, or, or am I hearing something moving about? What is that? Also, it looks like there's an air duct up there. I can't- there's no way to get to it, though. I suppose, I suppose I should switch to my fire arrows, I guess, just in case I need to blast a beast of some sort. A monster. Yep. 
There was somebody right over there. Night Warden on duty. No loitering, loitering in the halls, no noise making in the rooms, keep doors closed. There's a disturbance in the air that I thought was some sort of a gas, but I've just realized the sounds are coming from where that disturbance in the air is coming from. It's distorting light just a little bit. It's hard to see. And I was inside of it, and it didn't kill me. Okay, I think I'll avoid it. There's the painting. I, I think. I can just go around the corner to get to it, right? Whoa. The hell? What was that? The thing's coming. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Look at that. This one passed. All is well. Well, it doesn't seem like much of a cache. It's just right there. Maybe there's another painting. Good find. The Repulsion of Civility. Where have I been? Where have I not been? I just went through all these rooms, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, I did. So now I've got to go through the center. I saw you up there. My kind of patient. If you got hold of this key, send a thief to catch a thief. Is is that telling me where the what room the key's in, even though I've already got it? Double locks have been placed in the archivist's archivist's door. Or archivist? I'm not sure if it's pronounced archivist or archivist. Hmm. I've relocated the ladder from mm -hmm, the Shukwell the shenanigans for a while. Okay. Don't think that really matters anymore. Not even quite sure what that was actually trying to say.
Okay, one more place to check, I believe. This... Uh, there's another center... central room, right? Maybe not. Hold on, I went in here. I think it's coming closer. Yeah, let's go the other way. I think maybe I have searched it all. Yeah, I've been there, been there. Yeah, I think I'm good. Let's try taking this door. Breezeway. I guess so named because it's breezy because of all the windows? That didn't sound good. Stop doing that, Garrett. Please, for the love of God. <laughs> oh, I'm going into the place with the bloodstain. With excitable patience. Sounds like buckets of fun. Perhaps there are some kind of medical records that could tell me more. I like the sound of the blood. As I step on it. Squishy. Squelchy. Who's that? Is that Aaron? Porter's notes. Patient 14, the watchman. Caught peeking into windows and following strangers. Treated with solitary confinement. Number 53, the baker. Admitted for having hot skin. Undergoing hydrotherapy. 63, the dancer. Murderer who torments patient number 79. Shamelessly promiscuous. Regular sessions with Huntfield. Treatment unknown. 31, the archivist. Uncontrollable urge to steal. Occasional electrotherapy. 22. Father, the Duke. Considered very dangerous. Related to the patron. The biggest secret after 18. Find out more. Hmm. I don't imagine the noise of the glass would matter. Don't need to sneak around anything. I, I feel the urge to be careful around it, though. She's gone. It well, seems like they're starting a fire. Oh. 
Have I just unleashed them? I see, I guess they did start a fire. fork in a pile of blood. Central seclusion. Hi. Ah, they're blinking. There's those strange flowers again that I saw in that vision originally with Aaron. Lessons for mental health. Repetition soothes the troubled mind. A lack of excitement promotes healing. Noise is the enemy of well-being. <laughs> Obedience is the first sign of recovery. That sounds about sick. A bit sick. Obedience is the first signs of recovery. Sure. Patient 18 is an extraordinary creature. When not sedated, she screams about thousands of voices and thrashes so violently that we had to triple her restraints. The main phrase she yells is for someone to wake up, but who she is talking to is unclear. I had patient 22 brought into the treatment room several times in order to watch their interactions. It did not touch her, but became violent when removed from her presence. I can only hope Northcrest will allow me to attempt my new extraction technique soon. I had the device created specially for this task, and it would be a shame to let it rust simply because Elias, or Elias, 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 whatever it is, can't handle a little blood. Extraction technique? Extracting what? Won't someone bring Edwina her wine? She's been waiting so long. Hi. No. No one there. Huntfield's illness. Thurlow. Dr. Huntfield seems to have come down with a disfiguring ailment of the back. He has trouble standing upright and performing his operations. He asked me to examine him, but I'm afraid I could find nothing wrong. Of course, he then called me a failure and stomped away, so I neglected to mention that the back of his head is now entirely bald, or that his left leg is beginning to twist as he walks. I may suggest he try his own electrotherapy techniques. I'm sure his patients will be more than happy to apply the treatment on his behalf. 